know. They, they said the angels in heaven rejoice if you save one nigga like fuck. So, the reason why I stopped doing a lot of dumb shit. So, in other words, what made me mature? You know, what made me start to think as a grown man and not a child, right? And I came to the conclusion that I didn't want to fail my people, right? Like my mama, my grandma, aunties, uncles and brothers and cousins and stuff like that. I didn't want to fail them in the sense of them standing over my casting, casting, you know what I'm saying? Crying and uh, hurt and things like that, right? So every step I make, you know, it's a calculated step, you know? So I say that to say this. We as black men have a responsibility and a duty to make sure we don't take our mamas and grandmas and shit through this. You know, it's not gonna be perfect, but we can try to make sure that we don't take our people through that, right? That's a hurting ass feeling. Oh. You know, you, your people is left behind to grieve, to mourn, to hurt. Some of them scarred for life and shit. So it's like we have to understand that uh, no matter what, we don't want to put our people through that, right? Because it's too late. Once someone standing over the cast, it's, it's too late to try to make your rights wrong, your mean, your broken hearts and shit. It's too late. So you start now. You start now with how you treat people, how you let people treat you, you know, uh, minding your own business, tending to your own business, and keeping drama and fights and death and stuff like that out of your life. Because it's the show you start opening the doors to drama, like arguing back and forth with your woman or this or that, any kind of stuff like that, that shit can summon up some evil spirits, right? They can destroy me. So don't argue with people. Don't go back and forth. Sometimes, most of the time, it's best. I said most, not all the time. Most of the time, it's best if you let them win. Most of the time, you bitch, just let them win. But niggas don't want to lose. So they end up losing um, big time. So all you young niggas out there, I'm saying, you know, I ain't scared of this. I'm ready. I'm about to buy it. I'll shoot this and then. I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to go. I'm going to this. I'm going to run, 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 whatever you is, right? All right, we understand that you're not scared. We all stay here. But guess who is scared? Your little sister, your mama, your grandma, your aunties, your daddy, or whoever, you know what I'm saying, that got love for you. Uh, you scaring them. See, you, you can't be selfish with this and say, well, I'm not scared, so fuck it. No, now you gotta look at these, your family. Is they scared? for you to go through that type of stuff. And to, to give your honest answer, yeah, they scared. They don't want to see you in that situation. So don't put yourself in that situation, young black men. Man, they so, man, they fuck y'all in their minds up and make y'all think that the only thing you have to do that's fun is beef, fight each other, argue with each other, hang on each other, you know. This is the mindset of a lot of young black men. But see, once the young black man says, okay, now I have to teach my son. You know, now I have to teach my family. Now I have to be here for my family. You know, and things like that. Once he started to get that outlook like that, oh man, he become a dangerous man. Yeah, because the white man can't kill him. The white man can't trap him now. He, he, he know that if he sat, Fights himself, 
for these people, then God will show him some mercy. Yeah, if he put them people like before him, like his family, his wife, his mom, and stuff like that, if he put them before him, then God will show him mercy. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, uh, yeah, check out my my uh, songs that I don't put on Facebook and YouTube and shit, and tell me what y'all think of it. Um, man, I need a mix and a master. I need a I need a producer and shit. You know what I'm saying? I need somebody that can help me get that music where it need to be, man. Cause I got a lot of shit to say and things like that. But um, anyway, young black men, love your life, protect your life. You can't say you love your life if you keep putting your life in danger. You know? If you'll put a hope before your life, you don't love your life. If you'll put some money before your life, you don't love your life. So stop putting all this stuff before your life and you'll get to, you know how hard it is to get old, brother? See, I was done down, uh, let's say, 13 years ago, before everybody started getting shot, this one they just had 12 gauges, you know, nines and, and motherfucking 38s and shit. You know, this this was before everyone had a gun with a third round clip. Like, I'm glad I didn't come up in that area. If that shit would have been back in my time, bro, I probably wouldn't be here, dog. You know? But, um, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, man, protect your life, live your life, learn to get old, you know, and don't get old in the prison. Get old, all right, this is what black men gonna have to do with each other, right? Black men, you see how white men move amongst each other? You see how if they don't help each other, they stay out of each other's way? You don't see them talking down on each other, you don't see them trying to crab in the bucket each other. You always see them, unless it's on some big money shit. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to some contracts and some million dollar shit, now you gonna see some crazy shit with them white boys. But on a local level, you don't see that. So sometimes, like Elijah Mahoney said, there's some things that we have to learn from the white man himself. There's some things we got to learn, you know. And that's one of them getting together, respecting each other. You don't see white men looking at other white men's women and busting over them like that. They respect each other women when they go out to the soccer games and stuff or this and that. So we have to learn as black people, okay, we have to be the same way. Do you think them white folks trying to get their life up fast? They trying to live till they get 80 and shit, 90. Them motherfuckers trying to live till their ass is dust. And you niggas are going out so young. You niggas are going out the babies, man. The babies. And you're hurting the community when you do this because people have to come and mourn over you. Or mourn over us. You know, and it hurts our people. You know, shit, we have to put a stop to it. You know, there's a time for war and a time for peace. And the only time when it's a time, only time there's a time for war is when nothing else can be done to fix this. I mean, you have used every option and got down every tool that you can use and nothing else can be done. Now it's time for war. But until then, there's peace. But see, a nigga lose $5, somebody took $5 from him, instead of him saying, well, okay, next time Juju give me his $5 to take to him, I'm just gonna take that $5, and that's gonna be my $5, because uh, he just took my $5, you know, and so forth and so on, you know, instead of you niggas using their hand and becoming uh, cunning and, and wise with their movements and shit like that, they leash out into straight violence and anger, and that ain't it, dog. That ain't it, dog. That ain't it, dog. You, have, you black men have to be woke. You have to be cunning and wise in your movements, man, and the way you handle things, you know? Because if you don't, you're gonna hurt somebody. Not only are you gonna hurt the person you shoot or this or that, you're gonna hurt your family, boy. You don't wanna hurt your family. You don't wanna be, 
You don't want to hurt your family and not there to console your family. You don't want to hurt your family and not be there to uh, to console them and to give them strength and stuff like that, bro. That's a bad feeling, man. And we got to stop going through that. We got to stop putting our people through that. We got to stop because God ain't to be played with, dog. And I'm not talking about the God that everybody play with and, 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 and make my real. No, I'm talking about the real living true God. He watches over all. He sees all. And if black people want to be better, then their youth is going to have to take the first steps. Their youth are going to have to be wise enough to realize we have a problem. They're going to have to come together to make sure that problem don't persist amongst them never ever again. And guess what? If they're not man enough to handle those problems, if they're not man enough to stand up to those problems, then they're going to perish. I love y'all. Till next time. Peace.